case of Ayano Koji though. I honestly haven't watched the show. But I've never seen that man smell on anything. I guess he Why do you got this nigga on the list? You ain't seen the show, boy. Hey, Hinderer, you know what? Just roast me. Just roast me right now. Why this world characters in anime are relatable. He just like me. He just like me for real. Alright, so I'm pretty sure you've seen someone on Discord, TikTok, or Twitter with a profile picture looking like Hold on. Let's let's just say this real quick. Wait, hold on. He's about to say something that I'm not about to agree with, so I'm gonna let him finish. This or this. And even this. I even bet some of you watching this video right now are using something similar. Hell Alright. Let, let's let's just get this out the water. I'm gonna address two things here. First of all, if you have a profile picture of an anime character, that doesn't mean that you that you want to be them, that you find them relatable. And they got most niggas know that my main profile picture for anything is Karapika. That's not because I'm relatable to him. I don't have my whole family didn't get murdered, and I'm all, and I'm having a revenge arc. Nigga, I like him. He's my favorite character. Sometimes I use Tosin. Nigga, am I blind? No. I'm not trying to be like that nigga. He's just my favorite character from Leech. Like, that that was crazy. And then, like, the second thing is why do y'all niggas, like, why does every character have to be relatable to y'all? That shit loses me. You don't like a character unless they're relatable? Like, maybe it's just because I'm the opposite. Like, the more unrelatable I am from a character, the, the more they're, they're, the more I like them. Look at my profile picture. I call this recurring trend the Hinderer Renaissance. But it's honestly more like the Edmore Renaissance. Now, you're probably like, uh, Delamo? What's a Hinderer? Yeah, well, a Hinderer right? is a character who is usually cold, quiet, and cynical. Yeah. On the outside, they have the classic resting bitch face. But deep down, they typically have a kind and soft side that is only shown to those they are comfortable with. The word Hinderer comes from the Japanese word okay, Hine. Well, let's just say that right now, that Anakoji is not that nigga. So I don't know why you popped him up. He, he got the cold. He got the cold, but that nigga is not friendly to nobody. Uh, you must have watched two episodes of Classroom of the Elite, buddy. Which means to twist. And the word Dere Dere, which means lovey-dovey. I also saw that it could come from the word Hineru instead of Hine, which means to turn or to puzzle over. I don't know which one is right, but you get my point. Combining this, the word roughly translates to twisty love. Honestly, that Loki makes sense if you know these type of characters. Speaking of which, well, I, I hope you pipe. I hope you talk about the right characters, cause I'm about to roast you if you if you talk about a nigga that's not some fucking twisty love. Which some popular Hinderi characters are Hachiman Higagaya, okay. Mori Gairu, Oreki Hotaro. That's literally a romance. This is also from Hyoka. Like. Hyoka that's also a romance. Get this nigga the fuck off my screen. Otaka Ayano Koji. He from, is not in this category. Um, Classroom of the Leap. He owned from the Melancholy. I have never seen of Haruhi Suzumiya. Kuloa Zoldik from Hunter I mean, I get it. Hunter. We don't pronounce the X here, guys. And the original Edgelord himself, Sasuke Uchiha. Also, just to know, when referring to Hinidere characters, people mainly think of male characters, but female characters can also be Hinidere's. Just take a look at C2 from Kogias and Yukino from Origairu. All these characters I mentioned exhibit Hinidere energy, and if you watch any of these shows, you guys know why. There are a shit ton of videos out there that do an amazing job analyzing each of these characters, and if you watch it- Yeah, I bet you he's not talking about- He's not talking about how he's being lovey lo to these niggas, nigga. A few of them, you guys can see a pattern here. I'll give you a quick example. Take Oriki, Hachiman, and Ayano Koji. They all have pretty cynical views on the world and are cold hearted. Look at Oriki's motto of. Hachiman's monologue at the start of the show. And I know Koji's small log about allies to Horihita. But like other Hinidere's, their hard exterior can slowly come off after another character slowly breaks through it. Most commonly a love interest. In the case of Ayano Koji though, I honestly haven't watched the show. But I've never seen that man smile on anything. I guess he Why do you got this nigga on the list? You ain't seen the show, boy. I Sometimes I just slap the fuck out of y'all niggas. This list would have been perfectly okay if you just took him out. Why'd you put him in here? You ain't seen the show, bruh. 
It's like y'all be doing shit that don't make sense and it blows my mind. He just build different. These characters usually Stop speaking on a character you ain't never seen, bro. Like that shit's actually pissing me off. Pair well with Genki or Dere Dere characters since this type of duo have usually has great dynamics since they're almost complete opposites. It's also interesting seeing a Hinderes a hard exterior being broken slowly over time by these characters. You can check out my video on Genki Girl specifically after if you're interested in these type of anime characters. Now, why are there so many people using these type of profile pictures, me included, and even in the worst case scenarios, trying to be these characters IRL? Look, I guarantee you if you join a decent sized Discord server, you'll find a profile picture of a Hinderi in like 10 seconds. Just take a look. It could just simply be that we like those characters, similar to how sports how fans times it took them to do that. He probably recorded that like three times. have profile pictures of their favorite player, or how K-pop stands have profile pics of their favorite bias. Actually, with K-pop fans, it's probably something else entirely, but let's not get into that right now. With the Hinderay profile pictures on the other hand, I think there's something more than just liking those certain characters. Now, I'm not a psychologist or anything. So this boy's about to assume. So we're doing one of my favorite things in the world. We're assuming, okay. Thing, but my theory is that it comes down to one simple thing. Relatability. Yeah, what a shocker, I know. Let me elaborate further. I want you to find a pattern here. When it comes down- I'm about to create a word. I'm about to create a word for niggas that make videos in fucking chat. To characters like Oriki, Hachiman, and I don't know- Like the Twitch community, they, they, they're they using the word yapper. I'm not about to call niggas yappers. Koji, what do they have in common? Now there are many things you could say, but I want to talk about how they're in high school. They fall into the high school loner protagonist trope. I'm sure a big portion of people have attended high school, and I'm sure many of those people have probably felt lonely sometime during high school. The familiarity people feel when watching these characters strikes a big chord in them. It's the experiences, choices, and personalities we see. Alright, see, this, this is where I'm gonna say my, my, my favorite thing. Take a step back. Cause, uh, hey, you're not that nigga. <laughs> Just could you sit in a corner in 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 high school and don't talk to nobody? You're you're not these niggas. Now I don't think niggas put these profile pictures because they relate to them. I think they just like the character. Now why they like the character might be because they relate to them, but it's not because they're trying to be them. They that's like that's how most niggas do. They got an anime main picture of a nigga because that's their favorite character. So what if their favorite character is a lonely nigga that they relate to a little bit? Seeing these characters that feel very relatable. It's only natural for us to show off these characters in our profile since we feel- That nigga Killua is not lonely, first of all. He might be cold, but don't associate him with loneliness. The nigga is not lonely. Like we are represented in a positive light through certain characters. We don't feel like people will judge us harshly, and these characters are usually liked by the anime community. For the most part, this brings us a sense of representation for our experiences and way of thinking, making us feel that we aren't alone in the struggles we face in life, providing us with inspiration in order to persevere through the many hardships in our way. I'm talking specifically about Hinedere characters in this instance, but this phenomenon is also a thing we see in many different types of anime characters and isn't only exclusive to Hinedere's obviously. But I wanted to talk specifically about this type of character in particular because I do also feel a similar way and I haven't seen too many videos on this type of thing since it's sometimes usually seen as kind of cringe saying i relate to this fictional character yeah, but obviously is. there's a healthy way it is because i don't care who you think you relate to you don't take a step back please we to go about this and not to take things very literally since we all have different experiences and lives i would recommend dupleximes duplexime dupleximes how you pronounce it video on why anime characters are relatable if you want a deeper and more fleshed out explanation on why we find anime This is like me saying, this is like me saying why, why TV show characters are relatable. Nigga, we're all humans. Everyone is portrayed to be humans. Of course, there's going to be some type of reality, reality between us niggas. Everyone's different. Someone's going to find some nigga relatable. But like I said, take a step back. You're not that nigga, please characters in general to be relatable, but I personally just want to talk about Hinidere characters in particular. At the end of the day, you can use whatever profile picture you want. 
Unless it's like illegal or something. But my main point was to explain the pattern of heat rays being relatable and use the main profile pictures. I know this pattern since I am guilty of this too and I thought it would be interesting to explain this phenomenon since I haven't seen anyone else explain it. If a psychologist- What's the phenomenon, nigga? The phenomenon is why anime, anime fans use anime characters as their profile picture. That's, that's the phenomenon. It's not just no, you went through that Discord, you probably scrolled through 10 anime pictures. Well, you know what? We got the time. What mark are we? We're at 5, 536. Let's go back to the Discord. Let's count how many anime profile pictures was in that bitch before he got to his goal. Where's that bitch at? Where's that bitch at? Five hours later. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Alright, let's count. Let's count. Let's count how many anime, anime profile pictures there are. That looks like one. That's Luffy, that's two. That's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Well, you get my goddamn point, nigga. Damn. Phenomenon, since I haven't seen anyone it's else explain no it. goddamn phenomenon. I hate y'all using that fucking word. Y'all don't know what a fucking phenomenon is. If a psychologist or something is somehow watching this video and would like to give some input, that would be amazing. But to leave you guys with something inspirational and to sum up this video, I'll read this quote by the young, highly acclaimed author, that chaos guy. He just like me for real. See, this is what I say, bro. Like, I really just be... Niggas just be yapping, bro. You you found... You, you were like, huh. I'm about to draw the biggest line of con from assuming to conclusion ever, bro. You're just about to draw the line. You're just about to stretch that bitch. Because you just stretch crazy. Talking about a phenomenon why niggas use certain characters. Nigga, anime niggas just use anime profile pictures. And of course, there's going to be some niggas that like some characters under a specific genre. Of course. Not no goddamn fucking phenomenon. Oh boy, just be straight chatting, but I swear straight chat, straight chat.